So at this point in this video, I just want to address the video I posted yesterday outside smoking in minus 40 <laughs> and why that is that I did that. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hello and welcome to another installment of this strange thing that I do on the internet. Today, the uh, war that I have waged with carbohydrates continues on and I remain victorious. In front of us we have a plate of beef and grains, or bok choy I should say, one of my favorite greens. When I order Chinese food, I get beef and bok choy almost every time because it is that, that good. This is my first time ever trying my hand at it. and. Uh, We'll see how it is. I think I did pretty well. I tasted it a little bit along the way, but uh, it certainly looks delicious and uh, I'm starving and I'm ready to get into it. So before we do anything more, it's tradition to up, 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 <laughs> pour. Today we're back with the Christmas cubes. Those are the ice maker cubes that I got or the cubes that I got from the ice maker that I got for Christmas I should say and it's an A&W vibe once again today extra fizzy extra frothy and 
I gotta be kind of quiet today, so this is gonna be like a soft spoken, more radio, baritone, sort of ASMR. Because it's quite late at, late at night here, and uh, there's other human beings around me to be mindful of, so we still have fun. We try to make it fun and lighthearted and have some funny conversations, but we talk at a lower, more sensual, if you will, level. <laughs> okay. Today's root beer is being extra sensual. Way too fizzy, way too bubbly, way too thick. But I suppose that's how a root beer should be. <laughs> that's pretty special. I don't know if you think you can see this thing steaming or not. But it is. I have my weapons of choice. We're going full committal with the chopsticks today. So I'm hoping for the best. Now I know most usually this doesn't get served with like a noodle noodle based situation, but because I've been so low carb and not eating anything that's like a noodle, bread, pasta, uh, I wanted some really badly. And also these are from like a health specialty section in Walmart and they are six grams of carbs for the whole pack so we're still defeating the carbohydrate overlords that rule my waistline i want to get a perfect bite with everything and man bok choy is just so slippery <laughs> this is not going to be good okay perfect Quite good. <clears throat> I can get the that sesame oil in there. Very umami flavors with the sesame, the soy, the mushrooms, the steak. But speaking of the soy, that's what it needs. A little more, it needs a little more salt. Now I know that looks like a lot. May have overdone it, but I don't think so. It just was lacking a little bit of sodium content for me. So we try again. Hmm. Immediately better. Mm. Yeah. That's exactly what it needed. That soy, or, well, the salt, the sodium, just punches everything up a notch. This, in my mind, is a top-notch winner, low-carb dinner, a perfect option. I knew these mushrooms were going to be difficult. 
are so squirmy. Man, I suck with these. <laughs> there we go. Such a better bite. It's my first time trying these, uh, like no carb or well, low carb noodles. They're technically supposed to be for pasta, spaghetti, but uh, I figured I could cross genres here and use them for some Asian stuff. I will admit flavor profile on, on them is a bit strange. There's certainly like a, I guess the only way I can describe it is like chemically maybe a type taste to them I guess is how I would describe that mm. why is bok choy so good I love its crunch. You will just have to stab these mushrooms to get them. <laughs> Man, I'm so white. So white. <laughs> Just got a splash in the face because I'm so white. And then I get a good one. Like, where were you six tries ago, sir? So at this point in this video, I just want to address the video I posted yesterday outside smoking in minus 40 <laughs> and why that is that I did that. Um, mainly it's a couple reasons. First things first, I have this song that I've been sitting on that I have done that I want to release with like video um, content to it. You know, I want to shoot like a basically a homemade video because I'm a one-man band and when it comes to my everything that I do on YouTube I just do it myself and musically basically as well so I 
I figure I'd shoot a home area video and with the uh, level of snow in winter and the kind of the scenic things I have around me right now due to the snow I figured I'd take advantage of that and uh, use some of those to my advantage basically so yesterday I went out into the yard and I saw that like snow drift on the neighbor's garage or whatever and how deep the snow was and I basically wanted to get some, get some test shots just to see what it might look like for if I was to shoot some visuals for a video and I personally think it'll look dope Obviously, that's going to be one shot of many, but um, <clears throat> I just wanted to see what it looked like. And then when I got back and I was watching the footage, it just, I just kind of spoke about winter or whatever, just not knowing like I'd ever use that for anything. I was just kind of being funny. And when I got back and I watched it, I'm like, okay, this is just kind of random and f like f a little bit funny. But certainly had no real intention with it. And then I was thinking in my head, like, what are those videos that go viral as fuck on YouTube? They're just like the most random, like little could be short. And they always have like a title like that, like smoking in minus 40 degrees Celsius. I feel like shit like that just goes viral on YouTube sometimes. Like the algorithm will just pick it out because it's like different. And then people will see the title and be like, Hmm, smoking in minus 40, that seems a bit weird. You know, I wonder what that's like. So it's kind of a clickable title. And then just like the thumbnail being like simple, me standing in like a ton of snow. I just thought to myself... I might as well throw it up. I pitched my voice down. Well, I made it a bit slower. So that's even like a deeper, weird aspect of it. It's like you're watching this and then, then I'm like, have a super deep voice. So I purposely made it like very, not not, not trollish, but like kind of like clickbaity troll, like stupid video, like not supposed, not trying to be artistic, not trying to be anything. Just trying to throw something out in into the atmosphere that might get scooped up by the sketchy algorithm that's like, you know, recommends this weird video about smoking in minus 40. And then <clears throat> all of a sudden I get a bunch of new traffic and make a little money <laughs> if it went, if it was to get a lot of views. So, I mean, I don't really like to upset my thumbnails too much and, like, upset the vibe of my page. Um, I'm always, like, torn as to whether I want to even do that. And also, like... I don't love to throw random shit out... To, to my subscribers and have everybody be like, what is this? And why are you doing this? Because <laughs> I could understand how it would be very perplexing. But. It just felt something that felt like something like I wanted to do and wanted to do and had to do. So I did it. <laughs> And then we'll see what comes of it. If something, if it, if it randomly went crazy, that would be sick. Like I'd be stoked.
just for such a hilarious random like n just nothing video so please don't take uh, that video seriously at all no that's not where my channels ever headed <laughs> It just felt like a weird, funny thing to me that I wanted to put up. And I guess also something to touch on is I really don't smoke cigarettes that often. I have like maybe one every two weeks. If that, like I don't, I don't smoke really. So for everybody who's saucing in the comments about cigarettes, trust me. I'm good. I have a casual one here and there. But I'm certainly not chaining darts to my face in minus 40, you know? And let me tell you, when I say minus 40, it was minus 40 that day. It was so freaking cold. bone chilling and we have all that snow and it's only January we're gonna get at least another couple feet probably over the rest of the course of the winter and there's already so much the snow banks backing out of like the driveways here are literally almost six feet tall. I can't see shit when I'm backing out. If you're in a car, like a small car, you can't see anything. <laughs> it's insane. So annoying that I want to eat a bunch of these mushrooms, but I literally like can't get to them. <laughs> They're so snaky. Stabby. Come on. Is it weird that I want to drink some of this broth? No, it's not. <laughs> That's really good. Mm. Mm. That's really good. Pretty much done with that now. Maybe when I wrap it up here, I might grab a spoon and get to some more mushrooms, but for the time being, I think we can call that a video. So, don't take that uh, video that seriously. Expect a video with some of those shots, maybe for a song that I might be releasing soon with a video. Try this, and don't smoke cigarettes too often. Okay, till the next one, eat good, live well, stay true.